Hey everyone, Levi here with Foxbridge Slabs. Hope you guys are doing well. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to mill logs on a Logosol or Logosol F2 Plus that are too short for the log. We have a log lifter here. This is this is the F2 Plus log lifter here, another um, maybe about six foot over. This log right here is 68 inches long. It's too short for the log lifters. So what I've done is I've built a little bed. So I have um, two two by eights put together. Um, these pieces are not scrap pieces. I use scrap pieces for everything else. Underneath, I use scrap boards to um, screw the two by eights together and then also to provide a little bit more stability. So what this does is this gives me a way to um, put logs on my Logosol that are too short for the log lifters. This log on the Logosol right now is a black walnut log. It's 68 inches long. Um, the small end is 10 and a half inch diameter. The large end over here is about 12 inch diameter. So it's a really nice log. It's worth milling. And um, it's something that would make excellent shelving, charcuterie board material, cutting board material. Uh, the list could go on and on for what you could use it for. It's worth milling. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how I secured the log onto the table that I made. So the first thing that I did, I'm gonna bring you over here, is I screwed a scrap piece of wood to push the log up against. So I have the logs sitting up against that rail over there that was designed for the logs to sit up against. And the log is also sitting up against this piece of scrap wood right here. And everything that I use, I use pole barn screws. I found that pole barn screws, two inch long pole barn screws really secure everything down. So I have three pole barn screws in this. The next thing that I did was, um, I used just random pieces that I have laying around to hold the log up against the rail. So I pushed the log up tight and I screwed this piece down with a pole barn screw so that prevents it from rolling. Did the same thing here and then I did the same thing here. Once I have the log in place, the next thing that I did was I used angle brackets and pole barn screws and I used either one and a half inch long pole barn screws or two inch long pole barn screws. Um, for some of the shims I needed two inch long pole barn screws for the angle brackets, it didn't really matter, but I found that the longer the pole barn screw, the more secure um, the angle bracket is. So two angle brackets there. And then there's two angle brackets in here, okay? Now that we've got the log secure, um, it's really, I'm shaking it, it's not going anywhere. It might move a tiny bit while we're milling, but it's not going to move so much that uh, the log is going to, or the slabs are going to get twisted. So next step is um, gas up the chainsaw, throw the chainsaw on the logo saw, and we're going to start milling. Uh, when I do this, I don't flip the log. I leave it just like this and I mill it all the way down. So uh, stay tuned, stay with me, and I'll show you the next steps.
five slabs um, and a little bit of firewood. Pretty good yield out of this log. I could also uh, just take this piece, use my Alaskan mill, cut another inch and a half thick slab out of it. I don't think I'll, I'll do that just because it's so narrow. Uh, I need firewood as well. So next step is just take everything off. We're gonna leave that right there because I'm gonna use it again and um, I'll show you the slabs. There we go. Five slabs, 68 inches long. The widest two are 10 to 12 inches wide. The other three, still pretty decent. Uh, really great yield for chainsaw milling out of that log. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next video.